Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mega Man 3. In the last video, we took on two more stages of the Doc Wily's castle, in which we faced the copycat, and we did the entire boss gauntlet. In which I showed you the weaknesses of each particular robot. And now we're up to Dr. Wily himself. So let's get to it. I believe this is called Doc Wily Machine Number Three, maybe? I don't remember not exactly right now off the top of my head. Now, there are a few weaknesses to the under part there. Um, magnets for one, I believe, work quite well, and, uh, also shadow blades, I believe, work well. Now we'll use our first energy tank. Let's see if I can't get a few more with these magnets to show you that. Well, that magnets work. I'm not sure necessarily that they're a weakness, but you know they work. But now, at this part, the only way to beat him that I know of, which is also the easiest way. Unfortunately, I have to use another energy tank and re get on Rush Jet now because of that is Rush Jet. Then you just get up here to Doc Wily's level and keep on shooting. Don't bother to follow him when he goes down. I mean, there's. You have enough Rush Jet and enough time that. It shouldn't be a problem. And Dr. Wily has been defeated. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> what? What do you mean Doc Wily hasn't been defeated? Oh, Doc Wily, you sly dog, you. Yep, that's right. The game's not over yet. Let's see, I have Hard Knuckle, I have plenty of Snake Search, so really I have everything that I need for this boss altogether. I can't think of anything else I possibly need, so I mean, people have certain ways they do this boss. Just as people have some ways of doing the game, but I always use Hard Knuckle and Search Snake. And this is Gamma, of course. Now, the first part we have to do is get up onto this platform so we can get rid of this head here. And the head kind of reminds me of uh, Hard Man, so that's why I think of using Hard Knuckle here. Which, if you didn't know, Hardman's secondary weakness is Hard Knuckle. Most primary weakness is Magnet, and really, there's no reason to use anything but Magnet. Now that we're here, use Snake Search. Or Search Snake, I mean. And tackle Doc Wily. Leaving us with only one more hit that we need to get off him. Hopefully, we can do this. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, okay. You know what? Whatever. There. I'm sick and tired of this. Die, Doc Wily. <laughs> Not that Megman would ever kill anyone. 
Which is why Doc Wiley keeps coming back, because he keeps getting put in jail and getting out on good behavior or some weird thing. So, I don't know. He always manages to find a way out. In this scene, we... St Where's Doc... Dr. Wiley? Oh, no. Too late. <coughs> Epilogue. <coughs> Mega Man. You've regained consciousness. I found you lying here when I arrived. I wonder who brought you here. <coughs> this whistle. It must have been Proto Man. And now we hear the entire tune. Number list of robots made by Dr. Wright. Or Dr. Light and some things. Number eight, Elect Man, Atomic Energy Conservation. Number f seven, Fire Man, Waste Disposal Robot. Number six, Bomb Man, Ground Disruption Robot. Number five, Ice Man, Arctic Investigation Robot. Number four, Guts Man, Wilderness Reclamation Robot. Number three, Cut Man, Timber Felling Robot. Number two, Roll, Housekeeping Robot. Number one, Mega Man, former assistant to Dr. Wright. And number zero, Proto Man, was the new robot prototype and brother of Mega Man. And this is the first game where you see Proto Man, and as you go through the series, you learn more about him and all that occurred. Apparently what happened was his core was not stable since he was a prototype and this caused him to go out on his own eventually. And Dr. Wiley helped temporarily fix Pro Man's core which is why in Mega Man 3 you sort of see him. I mean you can debate that he's helping Mega Man or you can debate debate that he's helping Dr. Wily. It just depends on your perspective of things. Now I'm just running through the credits because, you know, this is the appropriate thing to do. I mean, these people worked hard on this game, and it would be rude of me to cut off before that and say, you know, wait till the next day. LP everyone? No, you see, since this game was made by Capcom and all these people, they deserve the credit that they, p they deserve to get the credit. I put in the hard work and effort so we can enjoy this. So we're gonna sit through the credits. And yes, I'm one of those people that when I go to a movie, I try to sit through the credits. I like seeing the amount of people it takes to put together just one movie that we enjoy you know and besides you never know well at movies anyway when like there's gonna be a special scene or something at the end and in some video games if you rush through the credits you don't know I mean see there goes Mega Man <laughs> on Rush Jet and he leaves us with this lovely screen. And that is Mega Man 3, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, in a couple days, maybe some, um, tonight I will start on a Let's Fool Around of, uh, Worms Armageddon. Either that or I'll, or I'll start Mega Man 6 for you. So until then, everyone, this is The Wolf, signing off.